Hi everybody, I wanted to see out 2020 and see in 2021 with one final illustrator tutorial. I thought it'd be really fun to focus on this tool here, which is the mesh tool. We're going to create a gradient mesh with that and we're going to use some objects to create a Christmas beetle, which is this here. I've brought in a couple of reference images. This is a type of beetle that's around in Tasmania where I live this time of year and also in wider Australia. It's got this beautiful carapace that comes in different colors and we're going to create the gradient mesh to mimic this and we're going to use a clipping mask to clip that to multiple objects at once, which I'm going to Show you how to do as well because you might have only ever clipped to one object in the past but you can actually clip inside multiple objects at the same time so i'm going to show you how to do that now to create this beetle i'm going to use a mixture of the shape tools and my direct selection tool and the pen tool i'm going to layer up some shapes and also use the pathfinder panel uh, i'm going to speed this bit up for the sake of enjoyment you could just trace yours you could do whatever you like you could do something that's completely different Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the shapes that I've created so far. It's not quite there yet. I'm going to do a couple of extra things, including um, changing the place of some of these objects. I'd like all of these to be on top of these legs. So I'm going to command X, command F just to place them on top. Now, it also might look a bit strange why I've done this in black and red and white. It's just so I can see the different vector shapes and what I'm doing with them. And I've only created the legs and the antennae on this side because I'm going to copy and reflect them onto the other side in just a moment but before that what I want to do is grab these objects and actually give them a stroke uh, and so it can just be an equal stroke around all the different shapes five we'll make that five just so all those lines are equal I'm pretty happy with that because it means when we go to outline all of these paths that they'll all be equal okay so I'm going to grab those I've just grabbed uh, used a marquee on the side there and the same with the antenna I'm going to right mouse button click and go to transform reflect now here it's always good to have your preview checked on so you can see what you're doing this is what I want to do I want to reflect it vertically but instead of going okay which all it would do is flip over what I've done I'm actually going to hit copy and what that does is it not only flips but it copies at the same time the objects that I want to move over to the other side and fantastic the next step I need to do is send these to the back so again I can go right mouse button click arrange send to the back 
fantastic we're really close now to having a finished shape of our Christmas beetle what I want to do now is select all of my objects I've got a mixture here of shapes with strokes and strokes on their own and what I want to do is go up to object path outline stroke what that's going to do is convert everything to vector shapes and fills and have no more strokes now the reason for that is I want to just flatten everything and I'm going to remove this stroke and what it's going to do is it's going to create just these lovely inner shapes that I want to keep to do that I'm going to use the pathfinder if you like the properties panel you could use that there's also the pathfinder that will pop up in here you go to the extra three dots we can use this one today which is called merge now when I merge that what it does it sort of just flattens everything into one group I'm going to double click on that because what I also want to do is just remove all of this white you can actually select just one and go up to select same fill color and that will actually find all the bits in this instance I want to delete all of those white strokes and they might be a different color as long as they're the same Adobe Illustrator will find those for you so I'm just deleted those and now I'm left with all their shapes now I'm just going to make them all black for now uh, and then we're going to turn this into a compound path which will then turn into something that we can house our beautiful mesh so we're up to doing the mesh which is really really exciting what I want you to do is go over and grab a rectangle tool we're just going to click and drag that roughly the same size as your beetle it doesn't matter if it goes over the top we're going to send it to the back in a minute going to your mesh tool now which is this one we're going to start off with quite a simple mesh just for time's sake but you can make these as complex as you like I'm just going to click twice sort of in the middle here actually I might just do three times for fun and you can see it's created these lines here uh, that's created a mesh now within this we can change some of these colors and that's what we're going to do first so I'm just going to pop out my swatches panel here now I would suggest you can find some much more interesting swatches I'm just going to use inspiration from these images here and use the default palette but I think it's really great when you actually use some different colors so I'm going to go to my direct selection tool and for each of these points I can select them on their own you can see this is black in the swatches panel I'm going to give them all a different color and you'll see that as we move along with these different greens I'm going to do some pinks as well and some oranges it's going to start building up a beautiful mesh for us sure why but for some reason there it was just hard to select a few of those so if that happens just zoom in uh, now I'm just going to select off and you can see now we've got this gradient mesh we've got a whole bunch of different colors and as I said you can play around with that and use a bit more inspiration I've just done that really quickly now again with your grade uh, with your direct selection tool you can come in you can start moving some of those points around and just get a little bit of movement to your gradient which can look really nice you can also have a mess around with the handles so you could drag those out but for the sake of time, we're going to leave it at that. That looks pretty good. It's kind of interesting gradient mesh going on. As I said, you can spend a lot more time. Now I'm going to right mouse button click and send this to the back. Arrange, send to the back. And I have my amazing vectors that I've already created. I'm just going to shrink this down a bit so we can see as much of this pattern as possible. Now there's one more step. Before I can use these shapes that I've created as a clipping mask I actually need to turn it into a compound path to do that I have it selected I'm going up to object compound path make now if you don't do that step it's not going to clip the gradient mesh inside your object so that's just a really important step last step I'm going to select both my compound path and my gradient mesh now my compound path needs to be sitting on top to be a clipping mask so keep that in mind as well I'm going to right mouse button click and go to clipping mask or I could go to object clipping mask make and there we have it 
we have our beautiful Christmas beetle. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed creating a Christmas beetle, creating some shapes and drawing some paths and doing some reflecting and creating a compound path and creating a beautiful gradient mesh. Uh, and have a wonderful new year. I look forward to seeing you for some more tutorials in 2021. Bye.